So for Bitcoin, Bitcoin has been in a very um, uptrend for a very long time, right from back here in um, January 2024. At the beginning of this year, Bitcoin has been in that bullish momentum to the upside, which has been basically um, making that impression on people's mind um, whether Bitcoin is going to continue going up or it's going to just crash down one day. So I was keenly expecting, and then I was keenly watching the market to see what it really, really does um, on these previous highs. So you can see from the monthly time frame we had Bitcoin make new heights in the market, which basically we saw the break above um, the 70k mark Bitcoin, and this was the all-time high. This uh. This was the last high we had in the market. And then this was kind of a double top formation, which I um, was also explaining to some of my trader friends who are trading um, cryptocurrencies. So I'm going to explain basically what um, I meant about what, um, I'm going to explain what basically I meant and then why I took the sell I took on um, Bitcoin. So we had this last highs here, which basically we saw um, a shallow pullback from this 70k mark. This was, this is a major zone. This is a major zone. And you can see how the market shied away from it. The market shied away from it. And then we saw the drop of Bitcoin. Basically, liquidities are seated at this point of prices. This is why we saw this uh, candlestick spike up and then we saw the close back down. So I want to explain something on the lower time frame where we are going to be looking at the chart very, very well. So this happened on Bitcoin. Whenever you see these kind of setups, they are very, very high probability setups in the market because you can really find this. Whenever you see a market Whenever you see a market break a major zone, and then we see the close back below. We see the retest of this. This is going. This is going to be a very very high probability setup, which I was very very confident about that Bitcoin was coming to the major, the next major level of price, which was basically sixty thousand dollars per coin, and we see that. Um, when Bitcoin rejected from this zone very, very neatly without any um, form of indicators he used or any um, form of algorithm used to check if we are to take your profit or not. You can see how it respected these zones very, very well. So what possibly could happen to Bitcoin next? From what I can see, from what I think and what I feel, happen to bitcoin we saw we saw the fake out here happen we saw a close below with this candlestick confirmation which um, we closed below with this daily candlestick confirmation you can see that it closed below this 70k mark we saw the retest of it the following day and then we saw the drop of it which basically price has made a new um, lower low in the market. Price has made a new lower low in the market, breaking the previous structure we had in the market. So what I feel um, is going to happen, we saw the drop down here. The candle got fueled today. The candle got fueled today by our own, um, this daily candle, which basically today is Wednesday. Candle got fueled today. And then uh, basically we are going to be expecting a continuation down to this major support level of price, which is basically $50,000 per coin. So this is what I feel is going to happen to Bitcoin. And this was the reason why I took the sell. I took, I was patiently waiting for this fake out to happen in the market at the very extreme of price. I was um, patiently waiting for this fake out to happen that happened, I saw the close back with this confirmatory candlestick, which basically we tested, and then I took my cell um, set up somewhere around there. I took my cell somewhere around there. When I got to the 
four hour time frame. Took my sell here, the market dropped pretty much fine. And then I took uh, my profit, all my profits at the $61,000 per coin. Took all my profits here, waited for the retracement. The candle on Tuesday, we saw this drop. Tuesday's candle has been filled up. This is our next um, area of interest. This is our next area of interest, which is basically from this point. Candle has been filled up. So from tomorrow, we should be expecting further movement to the downside for the Bitcoin till further notice, maybe to $50,000 per coin. So this is my overall target for Bitcoin for now. You guys should stay safe and remain um, informed about the market so you do the right thing all the time. Peace.